Hey YouTube, thank you for joining us today on an uh, episode of Make and Carl do a walkthrough. We got a real treat for you today. We just got this guy in. It's a 2019 Thor Palazzo 33.2. It's loaded with all the bells and whistles. Stick with us and we'll go through it. Welcome back. Uh, we'll start in the front, which I like to do. Uh, I'm going to open the, the bay for the generator so you can take a look at that. Um, where? Oh, found it. I think it unlocked. I, I heard it click. Ah, I did it. There we go. Got it. it kind of swings out. It's a little different than what we're used to. So you got the Cummins quiet diesel generator. Wow. You just hear that maybe purr. It is quiet. I mean, that's a big generator. That's uh, how many watts? 10,000? I'll post the specs in the comments or in the details or on the screen as it scrolls by. But yeah, so it, uh, it has a good little generator on it. Is that closed up? We go around. It has these cool lights uh, and it has like this nice uh, LED strip too, which I'm sure uh, if you're on the website or RV Trader, it'll be photographed and you'll see it. Um, it also has the Cummings diesel too, so it, it drives like a dream. And Cummings diesel is one of the best, sturdiest motors you can get, in my opinion. I like it the best. <laughs> uh, so, in typical Class A style, you got tons of cargo just starting in the front and we'll work our way back. Right here is uh, easy access gas on either side, so it makes it easier when you're pulling into the gas stations. Uh, you got a nice grab bar. Oh, I'll focus your attention to the nice carefree awning. Wow. Uh, yep. Really nice. Uh, it's also got the rain and wind sensor on it, so it's a little windy today. If it picks up too much, you might be able to see it retract itself. Uh, in here, I re this is really interesting, especially the doors. I like what they did. It's it's a cool little, it's not common, it's, it's, uh, it's a nice little feature that they did. Uh, typically, you just have like the cargo doors that go the whole way down and all that good stuff. Anyway, uh, they also give you a nice little slide tray. I think it's pretty cool. And, and that slide tray is removable. Is it? Yeah. That's you can lift it up and it comes right out. Well, look at that. That's pretty cool. And you got a nice little GFI outlet out here too if you need it. Um, which is cool. Uh, you got your furnace. You got oh, just your water tank. That's for your potable water. Uh, again, you should see scrolling whatever or what the specs are and how big that thing is. Uh, then you got a nice sound bar and TV out here uh, So you can chill out underneath the awning when it's not windy like crazy watch uh, Watch whatever you want to Your Hulu Netflix sports news <laughs> or all of that at one time all of the above So here's your battery housing station. Not that interesting. Uh, we did just get it. There's a little corrosion on the batteries, but we uh, will Test the batteries check them out if it does need to be replaced we replace them and then we clean everything off so also in here, wow! you got that gigantic inverter. That thing is massive. Yeah, so that'll run your microwave and uh, your TVs, maybe. If the TVs are wired for it, it would easily do it. It's enough power. But uh, it'll also run your refrigerator too. So that's the two main purposes of it. Uh, but it also has a nice 200 watt solar panel on the top. Uh, the top also has a wind guard Wi-Fi extender and a satellite dish. So it's loaded with all of the goodies, which is really nice. Uh, moving around to the back, hence the name Diesel Pusher. You got a big old diesel engine in the back pushing you down the highway. Uh, it does have the Cummins Turbo Diesel 300, uh, which I believe means 300 horsepower, uh, which is plenty enough. I know some guys really like the 400 horsepower, but I mean, it's a motorhome. You don't need to be <laughs> zipping around in these things. Uh, you want to just cruise and enjoy it. Uh, but some got, you know, ever to each his own, you know, to each his own. Uh, you got a nice tankless water heater as well. You should in a nice big uh, coach like this. I can get that. There it goes. Uh, in here, you just got your def station. Uh, That's a big def tank. Yeah. That's a big def tank. Yep. 
Uh, that means you can drive and drive and drive and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, of course, you got your classic wet bay here, so you got all of your uh, goodies, your sewer back, back flush, your low point drain, you can winterize it, you know, whether you're boondocking or plugged in at a park, it's all there. Uh, let's see what's in this. Oh, this is just more access to the cargo storage. So yeah, you got your 50 amp power cord there. You got a box of def. Um, and there's whoa, big old LP tank. That thing is huge. Yeah, for all those long showers that you need to take to keep you rock, rocking and rolling. You can take a shower for a day <laughs> as long as you got some water. I think. Uh, and then yeah, back to this. This is just where your uh, your controller board is, and some wiring, and your generator cargo door release handle. So. Follow me and we'll go inside. <laughs> Voila, Mo movie magic, people. You only had to wait a second, but now that I'm talking, you're waiting longer. So, is it really magic? Uh, I say so. Anyway, join me in here. Let me get the pillows off of here. Uh, you can see how well designed this is. It's very comfortable, very luxury feeling, plenty of space for activities. Um, and I'll point you to some of the cool features. I like to start in the front and kind of work my way back. I'm just going to hit the retract button on the awning, and it's just one push and it auto, auto retracts. So on the front cargo, or the front cockpit, should I say, you got plenty of room. Uh, on the passenger side, you got little cubbies, you got a drink holder, you got your laptop station, uh, which is nice, or your heating station, whichever you prefer. You got this giant Xera, uh, nice little interface here. It has GPS navigation, Bluetooth, um, you know, you name it. You can see navigation, USB, you can hook up your phone, backup camera, settings, all that good oh, stuff. Oh, oh, and it has side view cameras too when you change lanes. Nice. Yeah. I like those. Uh, especially in a big bus like this, it makes it convenient. So in case like a little Mini Cooper or Fiat or something's up next to you, you can kind of see it. Right? You don't want to run them over. No, no you don't. No, no, that would not be good. So, you got your dash fans, which, oh. You, the key. Yeah, I'm like, ah, it does that so often. Uh, or I do that. Uh, then you got your nightshades. Uh, you got your dome line. Uh, it has a little bit high hours on these uh, diesel generators, but these things, I mean, it's a Cummings diesel. As long as you keep it serviced, this thing, that diesel generator is going to keep running. Um, the hours, or not the hours, but the odometer, there's only 18,000 miles on it, which is fairly in its break-in period, especially for a Cummins diesel pusher. You got so much more. So over here, it has a lot of the classic stuff. You got your exhaust brake, you got your uh, windshield wipers, auxiliary start, your docking lights, fog lights, all that good stuff. Um, you got your transmission control, gear shifter, gearbox. Your shifting controls are over Gear here. selector. Gear selector, that's more of a proper term for it. And then you also got your auto levelers. Um, it does have air suspension, so you can either lower it or you can put it on auto. Most guys just keep it on auto. It's rare that you need lower. Um, I'm trying to think of times when you wouldn't need them. That's another discussion. I guess low hanging branches? But, yeah, maybe, I, I don't think necessarily for that. I think it's whenever you're leveled mm -hmm. and you release the uh, the air suspension it'll actually bring the coach lower because when the leveling I'm going to fact check that <laughs> uh, but it sounds good in my head so anyway above you is a bunk <laughs> uh, the pegs are in so I'm not gonna bring it down but it does come down and then you just got tons of storage you got tons in the front uh, found out it does come with the full owner's manual which is cool um, Whoopsies, whoopsies. Uh, behind you, you got a nice 40 inch, 42 inch Ooh, look at that. TV with another little sound bar. Yep, this guy goes right here. Uh, this can also turn into a bed, so this just pushes down. Behind you, you got uh, a bed. Well, we actually, we ordered a new bed for this, so it'll probably be a jackknife whenever it comes in, uh, which is what we like to go with. It's easier, it's simpler, 
less fuss, more durable, less things to break. That's kind of why we go with it. Sounds like the jackknife is the ultimate sleeper couch. It can be. Because more often than not, it's going to be kids who are sleeping on there, and kids don't care. <laughs> not really. Um, so in here, you got your, your wind guard, uh, your HDMI, so you can uh, plug in multiple HDMI devices that'll go to all of the TVs, sync, sync, sync. Synergy? Simultaneously. Simultaneously. It's the end of the day. I like how we wait until the end of the day when it's the hottest and my brain is the most toasty to do all of these walkthroughs. Hey, that's the proper procedure, man. It is. It makes it makes it more real for the people. So yeah, there's your entertainment center or your entertainment things. Uh, and then you just got tons of storage up there. Uh, moving on back, you got this uh, beautiful kitchen with tons of prep area. You got your dual sinks right here uh, with your little sprayer hose. Uh, you got storage up here. You got a microwave. The microwave does run off the inverter. Is that a convection microwave or convection oven? Yep, convection. Ooh. That's cool. I suppose there's an owner's manual that'll probably direct us through how to bake a turkey in there for one. Uh, you got your nice induction uh, cooktop, which is fantastic. I'm glad that they're moving to these. Uh, definitely a lot less heat is there and a lot less smoke and a lot less use of the propane. So you can use the propane for your hour long showers. Or uh, if you're winter camping, you can stay nice and toasty. You don't have to worry about running out. Uh, you got more storage. You got your nice residential refrigerator. Full re residential. So it runs on 120, uh, hence your inverter and why it's there. Uh, moving on back, you got the bathroom. Ooh, very spacious, very elegant, very nice. Oh, you got to do the uh, shower test. Oh, yeah. So, if you've seen our videos before, or maybe this is your first time, I am 5'8", which is the average height of an American male. Google it. Uh, plenty of room. So, the, so you're not like elf, you know? You're not like, for all the tall guys that are like six foot and above, or even taller than me, uh, which is half the population, right? If I'm the median, then half the guys are taller, and half the guys are shorter. So, anyway, it seems like taller guys do like diesel pushers. I don't know why, but it seems like more people, uh, yeah, the taller guys buy diesel pushers. I don't know. We'll it's probably because it. with the diesel, you can move more weight, which means you get more features. Yeah, it could be. Um, I could be way off though. Uh, you got a nice spice pantry rack. I think the bottom one's like that too. Yep. Is there another one? Oh. It's just really clipped in there good because you don't want it to move when you're traveling. Yeah, you don't want to spill the pepper while you're driving. That's bad. Yeah, everybody be sneezing. Oh man. You got washer dryer and it's a Whirlpool. Whoa. I like, I like the Whirlpool brands because you can get parts for them easier and cheaper than the other ones. Or Splendid. Splendid. Sp Splendid. Splendid. I think. Splendid day. D you said D-Day. No. <laughs> Veterans Day was a month ago. I don't know when the Veterans Day is. It's in November. It's very far away. You got a nice little coat rack. Moving, getting back onto the uh, subject. You also have pocket doors. You see in our channel, you know we love pocket doors. They're the room. best. They're the best. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's splendid. Splendid. Uh, you got a nice big closet uh, in here, and I don't know if you picked up on that, but that was a Nacho Libre reference. It's fantastic. My life is good. I wake up at five and I make soup. Uh, <laughs> you also got uh, a nice uh, flat screen in the bedroom as well. So, wow. tons of features. You got a nice little vanity. Uh, technically, uh, if you wanted to make it a vanity, mainly probably just more of a storage shelf. Uh, then you got drawers and you got wardrobes. 
all over the place. So you could live full time and that's pretty easy. This uh, has like one of the best layouts that we've seen so far. I like this layout. Yeah. yeah. For a diesel pusher, it's not like over the top. Uh, it's still relatively affordable, all things considered for diesel pushers. These are normally like 200 and above. Uh, so you got the Cummings engine, you got all the space and storage that you need. You got everything positive about the diesel pushers with very few of the limited. Like you could still get into national parks with this one. Cause it's only 33 feet? Cause it's only a 37 foot. Oh. Yeah. But it's under the 40 foot, so you can get into way more places with this one. Um, it has washer dryer, residential style refrigerator, the air suspension, the diesel, uh, the diesel Cummings engine, you know, all the bells and whistles and all the great things that make diesel pushers so great. You get it in a nice little compact thing. So uh, I think it's a killer unit. I give it two thumbs up. I would give it two, but I'm holding the camera. Yeah. Well, I'll do some new movie magic and splice in another one. I can't do that. I just put it all in iMovie and hit export. Fling it out there into the internet. Good luck. Anyway, half of these uh, videos are just trying to make Carl laugh. You guys can't see that, but he is behind the camera laughing, which is maybe a good or a bad thing because it encourages my behavior. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. I'm Nate, you got Mr. Carl behind the camera. We are Paradise RV, thank you for joining us. Hopefully this was informative and helped you make whatever decision you were looking for. Maybe you were just surfing YouTube very bored. Um, thanks so much for tuning in uh, and we'll see you next time.